All right, it's time for a new game of Crusader Kings. I'm here with uh, Kyle. Yes. And uh, I'm Colin. We're going to start a new game. All right, so where did you want to start? Did you want to go with something in like 867 where we deal with the Vikings? Uh, do, you, do you want to be like the guy who's in charge of Russia here, Rurik Rurikid? This is Kill the Pagans. Well, these are your pagans, but... Or did you want to start like in 1066 where, so we can get started on the First Crusade as fast as possible? Sure. Okay, uh, should we start as England? Do you want me to go for the hard thing of having to freaking conquer England? Or should I just start as France, which would make things a lot easier, please? <laughs> please don't make me... England sounds pretty cool. <sighs> You're gonna make me do that? <laughs> oh, I don't like that. It's freaking stupid. It's hard. Uh, but I know how to do it. Do you want me to do normal mode? Yeah. Okay. You're not making this easy on me. Good. Alright. Well, we start with the fate of England, then. When the childless King Edward the Confessor died, it plunged England into a succession crisis, unlike any that had come before. Three men attempted to secure the throne for themselves. Harold Godwinson, William the Bastard, and Harold Hardrade. Wow. While Sven and Malcolm st stood by, these kings... He said a bad word. Well, that's what he was called historically, because he was a bastard. Uh, ready to take to pounce at any sign of weakness. Because William was a bastard. So this is William here, and these are his uh, two primary sons. The House of Normandy traced their lineage back to the Norse Vikings and established themselves in the mainland of Europe over 200 years ago. Now William II dreams of leading his family to rule the kingdom of England. He believes his status as a successor to the throne was promised by the late King Edward, even recognized by Harold Hardrat, or Harold Godwinson himself. However, now that Edward is gone, Harold has broken his oath and taken the crown for himself. <sighs> Should I go Iron Man mode? I really don't want to do that. I'm not going to do it. William is at war with England. Can you muster your forces and claim what is rightfully yours? I believe I'm capable of it. Okay. We're gonna start the game paused a little bit, but I have a I, I I have a single strategy that usually works for me here. It's called get France, Brittany, and Scotland to do all the work. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pretty much. Playing with no mod. I usually play with like a ton of mods on this game, but this is unmodded for now, just to just keep things simple for this recording. Usually, I have like a field combat mod. I usually do stuff with like uh, historical characters spawning historical characters, but we're not going to do that. I just want to show you what Crusader Kings is like, just as it is purely. I don't know why it's taking so long to load here, though. It usually goes faster without the mods. Maybe it's because of the DLC. That too. Oh, here we go. All right, here is the Duchy of Normandy. We start off with a, with uh, 4,400 troops. However, I'm not going to start. I don't want all of those. Well, I want all of them, but I don't want to just have those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to arrange a marriage here with Duke Kona of Alum of Brittany. We're going to marry his son. There's his son here. Actually, no, we want one of our daughters. So, uh, Constance here will be. Actually, no. Which one should we do, Constance or Cecilia? I think Cecilia, because they're both the same age. And we're going to marry that to your son? Alright. We'll get, she'll get 100%. They're getting married, and how old are they? They're getting betrothed. Alright. And then we have Scotland here. I really. Uh, Malcolm Canmore. We're also going to arrange a marriage for one of his sons. Oh. Well, let's do uh, Constance. He's going to marry his. Uh, s let's do his second one. Right. I would love to do his first youngest, but he wants to, He probably won't accept that. So let's do his second youngest. Taking my proposal. Screw you. Do then. 
That should make you like me more. There you go, I gave him some gold. I don't like usually doing that, but... Yep. There we go, he'll accept it for his eldest son. Perfect. Alright, and then finally... Hey there, France. What we're gonna do here is what I call an ahistorical move. You're going to marry my daughter. Oh, I could cool. have given him my, uh, one of my older ones. Well, here. Jesus, a shame. Oh, he's not gonna... Well, that's okay. I suppose we'll just deal with uh, having uh, Brittany and Scotland on our side. Let's unpause. Now we wait. So, Alright, that's an alliance formed. That's another alliance formed. Okay. Perfect. Now we choose our Marco lifestyle. He's got... Ooh, he's got strategy. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna do chivalry for now. So this will actually extreme... The RNG is really good right here, because this will help me fight off uh, held goblins in extremely easily. So I'm gonna actually make a save here. Save every ten seconds. I uh, yeah, I'm a, I'll admit I'm a save scummer. All right. So this is the start of our England game. We have to actually conquer England. Not an easy task. But uh, okay, I'm going to call Scotland and Brittany. It's going to require me to take a bit of a prestige hit that I need to help, but it's okay uh, because. Watch this, I need to also give myself a uh, Bondi, Vickman, Bengals. I need more. So let's uh, get some horsemen. I don't even know horses are men. No, there are people who ride horses. Alright. Scotland's gonna join me, that's very good. I need their forces. And then, uh, and the Duke is going to also join me. Good. Alright. Now we wait. So what we're, our strategy here is Harold Goblinson's fighting two enemies. The Norwegians of uh, Harold Hardrada here, and he's fighting me. Ideally, we want him to fight off Hardrada first, so he can eliminate a potential enemy and weaken himself. Once we do that, we sweep in with a full victory. Nice. So we're going to want to play the waiting game a tiny bit. Means I'm actually going to take my guys back over here. And let's put on 5 speed because I don't like having to wait. But we're going to watch him, see if he starts. Uh, I want him to take all of his armies up here. And yeah, look, he's doing it. He's dealing with Norway like he hist historically did. Alright, since he's dealing with Norway, uh, he's going to probably start fighting them more. I want him to weaken his army once he does that. Yep, he's chasing them. Once he does that, we'll swoop in for the kill. <sighs> we already got... Actually, yeah, I want the secret. Perfect. Heck yeah. Not Richard, do you have secret? Means he, uh... Means he's in the bestiality. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Squidward! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh... Some things to do. What the heck? What? What happened to Philippe? Oh, hold on. Hmm. If I play this right, because if I remember correctly, she ha will have a claim to the throne of France if this gets played right. If he dies, and this guy inherits, I might get a claim. That's happened to me only once before. Anyways, uh, England weakening their armies up there, so let's get up here to Kent. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're going to war now. Wait, why am I involved in this? Oh, it. Oh, that's how Philippe died. He must have gone to war as a kid. That was not a smart idea, Philippe. You have other people fight your wars for you when you're a child. Alrighty. I'm gonna take Loe's here. Or Lou's here. They're gonna take that part for me. Uh, this show 
this will probably alert Harold, Her or Harold Goblinson here. But look, he's already eliminated Norway. Goblinson. He's already eliminated Norway, so that means we only have to fight him. Oh, he's not even fight. You're England. I'm not England yet, but we will be soon. Alright, we just gotta besiege some of these places. He will come down to try to take it out, but it's okay. Yep, that's what we wanted him to do. That's what we wanted him to do, though. Uh, yeah, you can bring Richard to your party. Not your brother, though. No, I need an alliance. My own son's trying to get people to party with him. Oh, God. That reminds me. So, one thing you need to do in this game is, uh... I could dis disinherit him. I, he, that was done historically, but I actually need to uh, educate him. Stupid kid. Yeah, if you don't educate them, they'll uh, they'll turn out pretty horribly with their stats. So, so one thing here is that your characters have stats in this game. It's like an RPG in a way. So, uh, my character stats as England is that I uh, well. William's incredibly good at fighting. Although... Alright, let's get this done and over with. They took that city back. I don't want that. Alright, time to reenact the actual battle of Hastings here. We're gonna put this on 4 or 3 speed, because this could be very dangerous for me. But, so, here is Hastings. We're gonna fight there. One thing a second was panning in was pretty cool. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay. Dude. Oh, come on, I need to win. Uh oh, one well, of my knights got injured. This is a really freaking close fight, though. I'm winning! Yes! I did. But he's supposed to win historically, so I don't care. And all my kids return safely. Here we go. We're fighting Harold Goblins in here. That was a big... Okay. Ooh, we captured one of his dukes. That's amazing. Alright. That should force him to retreat for now. We lost a lot. Let's see how many men we lost, though. Ooh. We lost more. But he actually had a smaller force, so... Actually... Yeah, we had a bigger force and we lost more, but... Let's see... We have knights here. You can actually check who fought which. Oh my gosh, the Earl Cornwall got like 175 kills. Oh, he's got probably done. Oh, no, I didn't. I have more knives. How dare personal. that guy beat us up? He must have used bots or something. One thing I'm considering on doing here is ordering some mercenaries. Yeah. Help me out a little bit here, which I will probably do. Oh, he's like 24. Uh, I'll get some mercenaries here. Uh, just to help me out a little bit. I need more numbers. There we go. And now we need to receive this part. They're gonna come back, they're gonna try to retake their area. What we need to do. I have a strategy. It's called Rush for the Freaking Capital. Pretty much. Because if we can capture one of like his children or something like that, we can win the war fast. We are not doing that. Yep. If we can capture one of the children fast enough, or like his wife or something like that, we can win. We captured his guest. That was not great. 
However, we do have his capital, which helps. He's going to try to retake it. We need to attack now. Just gotta wait for the AI. Come on, can you guys come with me, please? Never mind, he's just not he's just gonna take me take his capital. Thanks, game. <sighs> you're trying you're taking provinces that aren't helpful. You realize this, yes? The AI. Can we please, please attack them? Okay. Whatever. Just go away. I don't want you. I don't want to deal with your stupid invitation. That's nice. All right. All right. We're winning. Good. He's dying. Good. Okay. This is good. This is good. Now let's retake the capital, shall we? We have a good, we have a very good uh, score now. Sixty one. We are winning this fight. We are winning. And he has Still has a lot of soldiers. We gotta be really careful what we're doing then. I can zoom in a little. Oh no. Oh yeah, I see where they're at. Okay, 39 to 36 to Sorry if this is boring to you. Speed it up a little bit. That's 85%. We oh we captured his queen. Good. Let's see if we can do any more. I wanna actually like straight up defeat him. I think if we get one more victory, we'll be good. No, come back here. Alright. How many men do we have? I think we can win this. Yeah, we can win this. We're winning! Finally! Finally, I just have to change up my strategy. Okay. There we go. Kyle, we won. <laughs> Heck yeah. <sighs> you can voice this if you want to. The Battle King William. May your years be short and miserable. You are much greater than foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Right. All right, we are now the Kingdom of England. And guess what, Kyle? He's no longer the bastard anymore. He's now called <gasps> the Conqueror. Nice. He earned his title. Yep. Okay. First thing we're gonna do. Uh, I'm moving my capital here in London. There we go. And what we're gonna do is this is a special decision I get. My yeah. vassals, my family, and I have lived by the sides of the Saxons and Celts, and in ours, our language and customs have mixed with theirs. It's time to embrace the fact that we have become one. We are going to adopt the English culture. Norman no more. The time when we Normans considered France our homeland has long since passed. Our children are born here, surrounded by Saxons, and to them, Normandy will only ever be a blurred line beyond the misty shores of Britannia. And as we make some local customs our own, so too the legacy of our culture spreads throughout the Saxon lands, giving birth to a new English identity. We are now English. English. Yeah. Okay. So, we can't control all these cities. We're going to get a terrible modifier here. I'm above my domain limit. Yeah. I want to keep my original capital here, but yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, split the lands between loyal vassals. No, I'm a king. I don't have to be a vassal. That's right. So we're going to give this part to... Ideally, we want give someone... Give it to all the poor people. 
No. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Why not? I don't want to give it to poor people. Why not? You don't think they, they have a shot in life? Don't they got a shot, though? I guess you're right. We can take it to one of the poor people. So that's an unlanded guy, though. Just FYI, I don't want, and I don't want anyone who's uh, I don't want anyone who's Anglo-Saxon. I want Normans in control now. Okay, that's fine. But I'm just saying. Hmm, this guy's from Kent. I should give it to Thomas of Kent then, shouldn't I? I'll make him the Duke of Kent. Since he's of Kent. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I should probably give my children some land. But Is it just dudes who get land? Yes, you can't give it to women in here. Per the, per the religious laws. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Just wondering, you know. I will make you uh, well, a lot of in Wessex. Eventually, I'll make you an actual Wessex. And here's your Salisbury steak. Here, this is where Salisbury steak comes. In. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's hmm. see. This was one of my. This was one of my knights. I feel like I need to reward some of my knights, but at the same time, I need Normans in control. I feel like a lot of the foods they ate back then were weird. Like, just think about it. Berkshire, but I, I, I want to keep that. I want to keep Oxford for my own. All right, now we gotta get away. Uh, Look at this Thomas fella here. There, there, cool. All right, now we have all these holdings. Yeah. All so that, these guys here, these guys are gonna be annoying. Because they're the only Anglo-Saxons left, and they're very powerful vassals. So one thing I need to do is I need to get on their good side, otherwise they will rebel. So, first things first, we're hosting a feast. And we're going to return it back to three speed. Okay. As guests are gathered in the great halls, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and the spirits are high as the feast begins. So already, I have a dangerous faction. So one thing I need to do is start swaying him. I don't know if I have enough to do that though. So we'll also send him a gift. It's my steward, which sucks because he should usually be on your good side. One thing we could also do uh, to deal with this, because I really don't want to give up Normandy, is uh, we could look for any hooks on him. Another. Uh, no, Thing I could do is uh, rescind my title to my eldest son, which I want to do. Robert Kurthos here. I don't want him. I want him to. Uh... So historically, he got disinherited by his father, and he became the Duke of Normandy instead. I don't know if we, I don't know if we should do that though. Should we go a historical here, or should I try to stay on the side of history? Which is possible. Just do what you want to win. I'm gonna try to stay on the side of history, but if an opportunity comes up, then I will take it. As for you, though, I will disinherit you, because you're not a very good heir anyways. He's a meanie. Look at his cut. Oh, I'm missing some of this. Okay. You're missing what? I'm missing some prestige. I really should have gained some from winning England. What the heck, game? I think I probably did, but... As my guests leave, they seem to depart in good spirits. I'm so relieved that Earl Ivo does not depart without saying farewell. We both know we'll be seeing each other again soon. What a man! Oh, I did get some prestige. Oh, Alright. Now the head of the English culture. Uh, one thing we need to start doing then is promoting our culture uh, elsewhere within the country. And I mean, yeah, let's see. It should probably be wise if I put you on my council instead so you don't betray me. Oh, you. I need to, uh... Archbishop, huh? Yeah, I don't want him on my bad side. He's all currently on my bad side. Why? For doing the right stuff? 
He doesn't like me. Just cause. Uh doesn't probably like me. I need him to start endorsing me so I can get some more money. Y y money is super important. Yeah. Yes, I know there's a oh gosh. How am I gonna deal with this? I know how to deal with it. Now let's see. Do I have enough to disinherit now? I don't. Okay, this is not good. Maybe I shouldn't have paid the Archbishop, but at the same time I need his money. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh, uh, shoot, I don't even have enough piety. You can give me some more feudal taxes, I'll do that. I just really don't want that guy becoming uh, Duke of Normandy. I want that title for myself. Oh, I got an event where I can start making them learn a bit better. Let's see, my spy master. You. Yeah. Chancellor Edwin will need him. Oh, that made me him dislike me more. Whatever. I need better uh I need better a better chancellor anyway though. So I don't know what to do here though. Oh, Robert come of it came of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even as a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards warfare, such as Robert, can truly come to understand it. But look at his stats, they're terrible. So, I'm going to probably disinherit him, but that means I also need to educate his brother. Ideally, the one we want here is William the Red. He's going to probably be a way better, uh, way better son. Okay. So it's like, oh, they grow up so fast. Disinherit. It's yeah. kind of mean. Yeah, but you kind of have to disinherit sometimes. Otherwise, the wrong person will come in. Power? How, hold on. How are you against me? You're one of my family members. Can you give him a pity? I can't give him Normandy. Okay. So, we have Dynasty Legacies here. It's either we do one of these, or we disinherit Robert. What should we do? Do we keep Robert as our heir? Or do we disinherit him? Do we take one of these Dynasty Legacies? Or not? There's a lot of them. You can go under a Warfare Legacy, Law, Guile, Blood. Blood's very fun, because you can just make the, like... You can basically make superhumans. It's amazing. Uh, erudition, glory, or kin. Which one should we do? Blood? Mm. Alright, time for uh, Crusader King's breeding program, then. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the yeah, case, a... then Robert maybe won't be great, but we could certainly look for someone with inheritable traits with the best sum of skills. That way, even though he has sucky stats, he can have a wife that has amazing stats. Here we have this woman here. She's got actually some good personality, too. Uh, Mayor, she's Galician. 25. 25. So she's about 10 years old. About 10 years older than him. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, he's marrying a grandma. We but... could... What are you about? We could do this. We could, use... we could go to the Sophie lady here. So However, we... her learning stats aren't the best. I try to go for stuff with good learning stats. Oh, we have Dory End here. She's fecund, which means she'll have a ton of children. I just don't like that wrathful trait. Because that could be bad. Yeah, but you know. But she will educate her children extremely well. Should we do that? Sure. Why not? Alright. It'll be fun. Oh, actually, shoot. He's going to take a prestige hit for that. Uh... I don't think we can do anything more. Oh, here's another good one. The only problem is she's chased. Chased? Yeah, which means she won't have a lot of kids. This thing right here. It helps you if you're learning, so it's someone who tries to uh, embrace a life of, uh, well, chastity. Yeah. We have Ermengard here. This lady's not bad here. She's... What if their old weapons is like they're barren, though? This one's not bad here either. 
Well, then she's not Baron here. This is another fecund lady. It's Eleanor. She's Scott. Scottish. Actually, let's look for one just with the highest learning stat. Okay, it's going to be Dorian here. Or here with. Which one do you think looks better? Dorian. Dorian, do you think so? Even when she's wrathful? I think Harrod looks better here because she's content. content. She's going to be less likely to cheat on you if she does that. True. Uh, we could also do Saithrith. You really want the intelligent trait in here because it gives you a huge stat boost. But the only problem is she's less likely to have children. I don't know. So. I mean. Here's another one here, this Polish lady. Hey, that has like a whole entire like oh, she's generic now. Skyrim look to it. What are you talking about? Oh, just the eyes and the hair, dude. Just like... Yeah? Well, so you like Dorian? Yeah, your son needs to have someone who's uh... Are you sure he's uh... Oh shoot, he's lazy. Yeah, he's gonna get killed by her. <sighs> and then you gotta, then you, oh, you That's gotta... a terrible trait. We want to disinherit him when we get our uh, renown back. Okay, up. okay, okay. I would rather have him, or my goal is to get William the Red. He's gonna be Zared. way red. Because he's generous, cynical, and great. He's pretty cynical, huh? So. But for now, we can give Robert Kurt Horst Dorian. No, let's just do it, see what happens. Alright. Yeah, I see you're like embracing chaos. <laughs> <laughs> As for this faction, we may need to give in to their demands. There's way too many people here. Thankfully, he's he still will be dependent on me. I guess I have no choice. So I did lose my I did lose Normandy, which absolutely sucks. But whatever. We'll have Prince Robert here. All right, we need to start control. Oh my gosh, yeah, we need more control in our in our counties. All right, and now we play the waiting game a little bit. Oh, we could integrate Normandy back into our titles. Dude. That takes all. That takes about sixty years, though. I would rather have the domestic affairs titled with. All right, let's do managed domain. Because, oh, cool thing here, your queens, they actually help you with some of your stats. She's really good at domain management and handling money, uh, Queen Matilda here. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I put her on managed domain, she's going to make my domain stats go a lot higher, which is going to also give me more money mm -hmm. or for stewardship. So, All right, but for now, uh, we do a lot of waiting. But our best efforts might be. Well, this is a spy master, by the way. That's a perfect voice for it. Yeah. I've yet to uncover any secrets at Duke William's court. I do not believe we will ever find anything either. There is less going on here than the graveyard at Newell. <sighs> Very so well, you know Odo. best. Odo de Contabon, yeah. Sorry. I need to uh, do something. Seduce the wife. Seduce? Oh yeah. Seduce our wife. We want to have one more kid. If it's a boy, it will be it will be the actual future king of England. Oh, here's what we need to do. We have England now, but the overseer trait we need to be able to we need to be able to fight off rebellions because there mm -hmm. will be rebellions. So we need to do serve the crown. It will give us a natural dread of fifteen. So yeah. people will become more afraid of me. Don't your queen like being part of your family anyways? So here's the historic thing about Matilda. Uh, William, you know how he how he made her marry him? Oh, okay. He took her out. He was riding a horse, dragged her by the braids, and took her to her father's house, and forced and basically was like, "I'm going to marry this woman." Wow, that's pretty gross. Despite that, they actually had a really good marriage. <laughs> he was a jerk, but they actually were incredibly faithful to each other. Wow. They actually loved each other. Funnily enough. Wow. Yeah. Maybe he has to woo her into having relations. Yeah, because the game. Small but me. Ooh, here we go. 
Not every gift has the grand sentiment of wealth. Smaller things can make a far greater impression as long as they are chosen well. I wonder what Queen Matilda would appreciate. A silver locket? Stuffed fox? Or a flower display? Mm -hmm. You're married? Why, why do you use the wool your one? Let's see... Or we could just not. Why perhaps not? Let's see. Let's do the silver locket. Okay. Let's see if she likes that. Oh, thank you for so much for the silver locket you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I seized that as a wonderful gift. She liked it. Amazing. All right, and here's our schemes here. All right, that actually improved our chances. Well, she's also our spouse. Why is it called the scheme? Like, <laughs> well, it's because because it you're scheming. To oh man. I'm <laughs> That's not what the heck happened to his wife? So my son and heir, Prince Robert, has lately been telling me how impressed he is with the generosity of Gundred. Apparently, she came through with him when he was most needed. Yeah, that was nice of her. Yeah. I don't trust What's her, though, because she's head? deceitful. What's with her head thing? That's just something women wore back then to keep their hair uh, I thought it was some kind of thing to help her with her teeth. No. Oh, want to see something? We can also uh, change how we look a little bit. Like we could wear different clothes. Oh my goodness! You like... should wear different clothes. These are have a. We could like have different a different haircut. That he he historically would have looked something like this though. So. But yeah, you can change whatever you want you want him to look like. I don't want him. Unless you really think we should. Yeah, well, we no, we, we, we should give him a beard. Come on. He's been, he's been, he's been, the Normans didn't wear beards though. Well. Okay, we'll give him a mustache then. Uh, mustache? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And, uh, yeah. You know, he's trying on some new stuff to seduce his wife, so. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try some uh, new things. I'm glad we actually won his England. I know it required some safe stunning, but, you know, it's not always easy. It's not always easy to seduce your wife and the Oh, I hate this part. Kids. Okay. A reading in London. The celebrations have come to an end and the evening's entertainment seems to be over. When Queen Matilda suggested a reading. Here's the thing about this event here. They never know what they want. So, uh, even how, no matter how well you predict what she's going to do, uh, it's never consistent because I've done I've done save scums before. It's never consistent what they want to read, uh, so it's literally a guessing game here. Yeah. Okay. So what is it? Something pious like a small book on theism. Let's be entertained. Travels to Byzantium. The Algamest would oh my guess. give us a chance to learn. Well, let's do the book on theism because we're we do crusades. Oh wow, she liked it. As the clerk reads for us, Matilda seems completely engrossed. She later approached me. Good choice, William, she says. It takes a couple deep breaths. That was a good... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, did a you did a good job there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to wait for the first crusade, though. It mm. happens in, like, 20 years, so... 20 years to suffer? <sighs> yeah. Until we get the glory? Oh, William came of age. And nice. what do you know? All my sons have bad stats. What the heck? Yeah. Okay, you know what? We're gonna probably just keep Robert. That's not what happened historically, but... Or if he dies in battle, his brothers used to... Iconoclast? That's disgusting. What happened? This guy here became an Iconoclast. Actually... Oh, hey. The servants have been all been sent away, blah blah blah. As Queen Matilda enters our chamber, she smiles fashionably and enjoys me without any hesitation. With the help of hands and mouths and limbs, we have rooted from the devotion we swore before God, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than we intended. We are now united in marriage. As united in marriage, we are united in heart. Alright. I seduced her. Are you doing the vows? Well, it's just remembering it. Here's the thing, though. You know what I'm hoping? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping because there's this iconoclast heresy coming on. I'm hoping he becomes an iconoclast that we can take over all of France. But I'd need to hire a higher faithfulness to that, which means, hello, Mr. Pope. We could start swaying the Pope. We could start paying indulgences to get us to like it, get him to like us better. 
a lot of different things. See, you know, that mustache has a lot of power behind it. Uh-oh. What happened? Excuse me, you're 17 years old. What happened? What's she's, she's, try she's trying to seduce me. The 17 year old girl is trying to seduce me. It's disgusting. No. She's not even attractive. No. Like, it, 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 lady, at least be attractive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a terrible thing. What? Like, what kind of messed up individual is she? I'm gonna cheat on my wife, you gotta be hot for a monkey. Oh, that's terrible, Kyle. No, I'm not saying that he should. I'm just saying, like... Oh, see, she's trying to get me What is she even trying? She's deceitful. I don't trust that. I'm gonna say, how sweet, but no. Basically. What she's trying to do is she's trying to seduce me so I can have a bastard with her, and then later on that bastard's gonna have a claimant to the King of England. Uh-oh. Your brother died. Okay, he's mega powerful. Now that's not good. Whoa. Which means, here's another mechanic in the game. I need to start building some... So here's what I want to get. I want to get the Tower of London here. That will help me a lot, because it boosts my garrison by the time it's OP. Oh, and we need to start studying some stuff here. So we have a lot of technology we could learn. Right now we're focused on chronicle writing or the arch. Should we get the horsemen, or should we do chronicle writing, or should we do communal government? I think chronicle writing is probably the best move here. The so horsemen? You could get like armored horsemen. So like you're riding a horse and it has armor on it and everything. Okay. Uh oh. Er early night approaches me, mentioning our shared interest in military matters and wanting to exchange ideas. He seems to be well read on all topics concerning strategy and tactics. Uh, um, I'm just gonna do it with him. Yeah, buddy. He can become his buddy if I do if I do this. Yes, it's gonna make me more stressed, but I'm gonna make a friend with him. Little wife. Oh, our daughter came of age, and she nice. is betrothed, which means uh, just some bloody bloke, huh? Yep. You can change whoever it is, huh, if you wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my alliance with Brittany, though. Just so I don't lose prestige or anything like that. Oh, my son wants a feast. Many monk- can I actually do a feast? Buddy, I can't host a feast- or oh. yeah, I, I will host a feast when I feel like it! Should I do that to my son? Yeah. I, will, I will do that to my son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw you, Robert Kuros. Why do you want to feast out of nowhere? Just come on, it's not even a holiday. Sometimes they ask you. Look, Robert, you you, you suck, okay? You, you suck. <laughs> I'd rather have William, but then it. To be honest, the sick part is he's actually my best heir here because of that brilliant strategist thing. So I actually want to keep him here. Oh, he's doing a feast. Yeah, I'm gonna come to your feast. <laughs> anyway, you know what Kurt host means in like Mormon, yeah. right? It means girl pants. Girl pants? Yeah, he called his he called his son that. That's so bad. Because he thought he was a coward. All right, we have a dilemma here at the feast. As the feast is dwindling down, I find myself deep in conversation with my relaxed son and heir, Prince Robert. He requires about the opinion of ancient military campaigns, a subject he's deeply interested in. Are we fascinated? Do we not care? Or do we want to make or do we want him to be on our side more? Do we want do we want him to upset our air basically? Mm, well. Are we gonna just be mean to our son like he was historically? <laughs> it would be kinda of funny. I can say I don't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, though, actually, that was good. He got better at martial strategy. Maybe, you know what, maybe you need a little bit more tough love, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone needs a little push every once in a while. Yeah, maybe, maybe you need some tough love, kid. Okay, let's unpossible. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised Scotland stayed so stable. They actually, he actually won the Civil War. Oh, I have a new martial perk. Okay, cool. This will help. Uh, I'm going to do... 
increase control and county. I need that super badly. One thing. Oh, okay, the feast is over. I've lost stress because of it. And I'm hoping you die soon. Because if you die, your land gets split up a little bit. Oh, I still have your sister. I'm sure it, oh, I could get some free money from him. Oh, he doesn't. You don't want your sister back? No, he's like, I, I didn't actually have a good relationship with my sister, so you can just keep her. Okay, we got two people on here. Oh, there's another one. Eh. I'll just get a hook on her. What do you mean by that? A hook? Like, uh, it's like uh, getting a favor, or like yeah. forcing someone to do something for you. If they get out of prison? You can you can imprison people and then like force them to give you favor later on uh, nice. as it as a requirement of getting out of their imprisonment. Sweet. Anyway, Scotland uh, is here. We 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 don't want Scotland to become our enemy for now because uh, we could defeat them, but they often make an alliance with France. If you do that, which is not good. We don't want to fight a two front war. Uh, what we do want to do is you see this nice little place here. You know what this place is. Yeah, that's Ireland. You know what it is? It's prime conquering spots. And so is Whale. Nice. And later on, if we get enough uh, piety and the Pope likes us, we can get an entire claim on Ireland and start conquering it. Mm. Uh, for pretty much free. Okay. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to try saving my money because I want to build the Tower of London. Oh, another, I'm getting going to another feast. Oh, man, what yeah, we're going to get fat. We're going to get fast or fat. You know, but you know, it's funny because historically William actually died from being too fat. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to do that. Except all the meals. Oh. Ooh. What's, what's this? His father died. Perfect. He's like, hey, buddy, oh, you know what I need to do? Friend. I'm going to make myself more powerful. There we go. Cool. I'm more powerful now. Okay. My vassals are gonna hate me for that because I just gave myself more power. Wait, are you gonna help that little kid become part of your buddies? <laughs> no, I want him to lose. Oh. I want him to be less powerful. Oh. As well? Uh oh, Scotland's calling me to war. <sighs> okay. A three-year-old. Yeah, it's a three-year-old. He's a duke now. It's not nice. How smart is he gonna be? Not very. Exactly. All right, here we go. We're gonna help Scotland win their war for them. What we could do? I want to beat him up a little bit. I, I didn't. I didn't get the beat. I didn't get my fair shot at beating him up. Well, what the heck? I'm losing. No, that shouldn't be happening. Oh, there we go. We're winning. There we. Go. Oh, cool. I count. I caught one of his counts. All right. Let's get this land back for Scotland, shall we? Oh, a kind word. My past happened to be crossed with Baron Arnold. To my surprise, it seems as though he does not have a great impression of my friend Earl Ivo. Uh oh, we're having some problems. Yeah, these guys don't like each other. Should I make him change his mind? Yeah. Or maybe I should have people talking about me instead. What's, do we want to be a selfish jerk, or should we get these guys to mend their relationship? It could go terribly. Uh, just talk about you instead! Okay, let's be selfish. I like how you think. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's all the land they actually wanted to take. It's a really pathetic war. Uh, With all the land they want? <laughs> uh, but we'll take more. That will help them. Boy, they think there was more to it than just that? No, the AI knows. They're just, they're just doing... Oh, I see what they're doing. Yeah, go chase down Harold, please. Actually, I should chase him down, too. If you get more fights, it helps with more prestige. Alright, hard rule. Should we do this? Side break too? No. But, I mean, you could. But, cool. Uh, should I do a man's home or should I do hard rule? This will allow me to have advantage and uh, controlled territory. I have sounds good. Or should I do hard rule and I'll get uh, I'll be better at fighting against uh, my vassals and make it so they don't have uh, many uh, factions against me. Do hard rule first. 
Okay, that's a good that's a good plan. Because I don't want any factions while we're in the middle of a war that go, always goes horribly. Come here. I have them outnumbered. This should be an easy fight. Yeah, they're running. There we go. Battle of Glasgow. No, you're thinking Glasgow. I said Glasgow. Oh, we we defeated him. We caught they cap I captured the king. Heck yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I captured Harold Hardrata. Heck yeah. I basically just won the war for Scotland. Alright. You're welcome, King Malcolm. I hope you better not betray me. He's actually getting pretty strong on his own, too. That's a little bit concerning. Oh, the King of Scotland. He's getting a bit strong on his own. That's a little bit concerning. As for you, Mr. Duke of Mercia... I really want to divide his uh, stuff up, but... At the same time, I'm just waiting for the next crusade to start. And I need and I need more money so I can start uh, my... Well, I want more money so I can start uh, basically building the crusade. I want more money so I can start uh, building the castle, the Tower of London. Because if I build the Tower of London, that will make me extremely powerful as a king. So did you want me to give him sideburns? Okay. Okay, let's see. Let me see if the ha there's a hairstyle for that. Yeah, there's a mustache with sideburns. We'll give him the mustache with sideburns, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, daughter came of age, and we shall marry her to her betrothed. Who's your betrothed? Uh, the Prince of Scotland. Okay, no, it's not bad, right? Yeah, that's good. Because that means my family will have some claims eventually to Scotland. Okay, with the way of the sword, the endless clash of metal on metal and chafing and armor and sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To heft my sword down, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Should we end the monotony, or shall we be a respected expert on the sword? Um. We could, uh... Become a respected expert on the sword. What's the monotony? Basically, you you can ch you can become an expert in another weapon. No, we should use swords. Okay, we'll become, a, we'll become a respected expert at the sword, which means we're going to be even better with our prowess. Yep. The good thing is, our daughter will be married to the heir of Scotland, mm -hmm. which means uh, when I die and the king of Scotland dies our sons will still be able to maintain an alliance, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to get rid of, uh, Confederate Partition. I do not want my kingdom being divided so well, so easily like that. No. So, okay, we will do a man's home now. He said we should, and I want to change my crown authority, but unfortunately this duke here doesn't like me, so... Let's just send him a gift. Actually... I could revoke his title. I have a client. I have a hook on him. Very nice. The only problem is he might rebel. Should we do it? Take away his title as the Duke of Normandy. Why not? All right. Let's see if this works. Nope. He wants to fight. I could call in my own allies though. Yep. So. Okay, we'll get Scotland and Brittany to help me then. Okay, Scotland's coming. We're gonna fight off this guy. This rebellious vassal. You took my claim, you don't get it back. 
Okay, we're fighting him. Alright. I'm gonna go head straight for his capital. I tend to do that's usually my strategy for things. I tend to go straight to their capitals mm -hmm. just to fight them and take some stuff. Oh! He wounded one of his knights too. Very good. He's losing now. Very badly, might I add. Alright. And he's gonna try to start besieging one of my cities, but that's not gonna do him very good. Especially when I just did that. But I should probably get my city back, so... I'll win. I have more forces than him. Usually you don't want to, like, fight someone when they embark somewhere. But, uh, my allies are taking care of it. And I have more forces than him, so I'll be able to win. Yeah. Ooh, my son got injured, though. Robert got hurt. That's not good. Robert? Should I let Robert die? I don't want him to die, actually. William's a good knight, though. Let him fight! You think so? He's wounded. Um, he does have a son, though. How old is son? Two years old. He's too young. You think so? I'm gonna forbid him from fighting anyways. Yeah. If he's wounded, he should not be on the battlefield anymore. Chris. Lately it feels as I'm constantly being distracted by Lavish's boss and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships uh, of everyday life, it's all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. His desires are clearly interfering with my life. What should I do about him? We could become we could convert to Kalianism, which is a heresy, or we could become athletic. So he will start riding away, he'll start using horse riding to deal with stress. That's very good. I'd rather not commit to heresies. Oh, there we go. That's right, that's mine. Give it back. It's my freaking title. Yeah, you don't want to have the heretic. Alright, mm. we're going to revoke his title. Alright, and you know what we should do? Okay. We're going to renounce his claims. We're going to make him renounce his claims and he'll have to leave my land forever. Are you torture him first? I could have, I didn't want to. It makes people... It's He's of my dynasty, that would have made me look bad. Alright, bye, Rolf. Screw you too, buddy. It was Agatha. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, you know I had to say it. Mm, there's not a lot of good allies here. Does the HRP... Do you have any extra sons? Have him marry my daughter. He won't accept. Doesn't definitely doesn't want a matrilineal marriage either. What's the problem with that guy? I uh, what about your son, Prince Martin? This is the Holy Roman Emperor. To be fair, oh. he's currently fighting Norway and defending against Hungary. Yeah, this is the HRE over here. I didn't want to start in here though because it gets a bit boring. Because some of the vassals aren't allowed to fight, are allowed to like conquer each other. He's a bold atheist. Yeah. Well, and hi historically, uh, the Pope excommunicated him. That should oh, be wow. happening actually really soon. <laughs> yeah. We need to start promoting our culture more. Being Kent, I'm surprised no vassals have flipped over to English. That never happens. They usually flip over to English. All of them have remained Norman, and that really bothers me means everything's gonna be well this guy became English. It's gonna freaking be awful though. Is Countess it? Emma is now has a con has the claim on Alcenon. Yeah no that ain't happening buddy. Oh that does remind me though uh of course bugs are off <laughs> that's what English people would say. Yeah I need to change it from from Confederate partition because if that happens, if I die, all this land I have it gets divided equally. I don't want that. Yeah. I yeah, you have a ton of issues. 
So I'm trying to make it so I can actually like Can you use this you want me to educate? It says same lady, your dog is your responsibility. Screw you, I'm business king. Yeah, let's let's go to this feast. Let's get fat. Uh, same lady who tried to woo you then your kids? No no no, that was the same lady who tried to get a claim on my land. Oh, okay. The other guests are laughing and chattering in the noisy hall, making it hard to focus on the cool and noisy front of me. But I draw lines and engagements in the greasy sledge as I think of ways to encounter various battle plans, with my skirmishers harrying the fat carrot flank. This seems we might work in a real battlefield. Cool. Oh. Gotta pick a new... Let's do enduring hardships, that will help my port levels. I'm trying to get better relationship with them, game. Stop that. Well, at least I got Eager Reveler now. That's nice. That's going to help my diplomacy a little bit. And my intrigue. So here's the thing about William and De Normandy. And historically, he never got married. But we're not going to do history this time. So We're just going to be like, this boy has red hair. He needs to have some yeah. good redhead children. He actually... So the thing is... Uh, this son got disinherited in real life. Yeah. He ended up dying of sickness. But William was the one who became the next king of England after William the Conqueror died. Okay. Yeah. That's why I originally wanted him. But, uh, well. We're just doing things. Robert's our best heir here, so I want him to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I need to train my grandson. I'm going to convert his culture, too. He needs to become English. Yeah. Why are you Norman? You're supposed to become Norman. You're supposed to become English, too. Why does nobody want to become English? Screw you. <laughs> Give it to this John guy. You're going to talk about how you want to start giving this stuff to random people off the street? Here you go. There you go. He's got a dynasty now. You're going to be like, man, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not actually on the street, it's just a person who comes in your car. He's like, here, become my freaking, the freaking Earl of Cornwall, there you go, have fun. He's like, man, it actually worked! <laughs> <laughs> we could disinherit one of our sons. In particular him, he's our weakest one here. Okay. Can we disinherit him? I feel kind of sorry for him. It's okay. Is he still going to be family he, he, he or he not? He'll be family, he just won't get any land. So that's kind of sad. He's gonna hate your guts for that. Oh, he will. But... I need to make sure Robert here has the most land. Ah, this guy's being freaking... I want to change my succession law, let me do it, please. Please. There we go. Now William's not going to be the one with the most uh, land now. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. People are slowly starting to like me a lot more. That's very good. Okay. Now we can change our succession law. Very good. We're going to do normal partition. That should help us. Which means William's gonna, or, uh, we're gonna, that means that he's gonna, uh, basically, our kingdom won't be divided when we die. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Always wanna get rid of that Confederate partition, it sucks. Ooh. Yes, I want higher taxes. Always want higher taxes. Okay, we have enough money, cool. Here we go. Should we bid it? We have enough money, should we build it? Or is it? The Tower of London is a castle that serves as both a vital fortification and a prison. The central tower is called the White Tower and houses the ruling class. The position of the Tower of London means that it's vital to the defense of the entire country. Should we build it? It would give us more holding taxes, more development, we'd get more dread, our fort level would be a plus six, which is supremely good. Good. We have a plus six defender advantage, good. and our garrison's gonna be better. Like, extre extremely better. Okay, there we go. 
you put the money into it, it should be finished in about five years. Yeah, you have to build it. I know. Well, this is a video game. But we put the investment into it now. Yep. And Scotland's conquering more of Ireland. I don't like that. Please stop. Please. Would you stop that? All right. Let's see. Prepared conscription or the soldiers of lesser fortune? Basically, do we want better con conscripts? Do we want to spend less on like conscripts and get more enforcements, or do we want to buy more, be able to buy mercenaries more easily? I would prefer this one probably, but prepared sounds conscription. Basically. You draft people a lot easier, or you buy soldiers a lot easier. Mm. By the way, I did your mustache and sideburns, by the way. He's aging, that's for sure. Yeah, they, they get old and die in this game. Yep. That's why you need heirs. Uh-oh. Yep, as I just said that. I knew that getting older would mean doing everything slower, but I didn't think it would be all come to a halt until my death. Lately, I feel constant malaise and everything takes a lot more effort than before. I'm worried that if I lie down, I might not be able to get up again. There's no doubt in my mind my time is running out. I feel like I can do naught but await death's sweet embrace to call me. So we've just gained the trait of becoming infirm. Okay. Yes. Which Wait. means we're a lot weaker now. And we're getting close to our deathbed. We're ailing. Uh -huh. We can only hope and pray that Robert's going to be a good heir and can hold the land for as long as possible. Yeah. Thankfully, he has two sons. Uh, one of them's Fikun. That's amazing. You don't have anything, though. That kind of sucks. <laughs> so, uh, I will work off some stress. It's going to make you smell sweaty. But, yeah, William's starting to die. Mm -hmm. As his, his wife probably is too. Oh, actually, she's okay. She looks like she's she's in her not aged much. She's in her fifties though. But yeah, we're starting to die now, which is sad. But the game's not over. The game's not over yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because you end up playing your heirs, which is nice. But yeah, um, William's not looking so hot right now. But as we die, should we go on another feast? Just to, or should we go on a hunt? Just, just keep eating food. Yeah, right. You're well. gonna die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here we go. It's like the guests are gathered in a great hall, Lord and Lady from near and far reaches, and blah blah blah. blah. It's like you know what? Well, might as well get fat until you die. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, if disaster happened. My lord, the wine we've cracked open will that next barrel. It's gone bad, it's all gone bad. The feast is still raging without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle. Hey, <laughs> crack open my secret stores. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did everything I could ensuring that Mayor Aubrey and Mayor Hubert would be as far from each other. Uh oh. They're having a fight, Kyle. Who should we call to cool off? This mayor? Or this mayor? Let's see. This one, or this one? Aubrey, or Hubert? That doesn't matter. It does, because it will give us opinion. One of them will like us better than the other. Okay, which one would choose what? This one's Catholic English, which the other one is? He's a Catholic Norman. Norman. Kick out the Norman! Okay, we'll fill in, uh, in between Aubrey. Okay. Oh! A beautiful daughter, too. Should we rename her? Why? She was so sick. Juliana? Isn't that nice? It could be. Oh, guests are departing. I got more prestige, though. That's nice. Nice. Just keep throwing parties. You throw another party? <laughs> I can't. Yep, there's, there's a time limit. You, you have to... It has a bit of a cooldown. Okay. Uh oh. What is this? Wait. My son Richard had an extramarital affair with this lady. I freaking knew it. Screw you. You're going to. You need to go to the freaking dungeon, or you can, or you can die too. I knew she was bad trouble. She just had an affair with my son Richard. Did you kill her? No, but he's now an adulterer. Oh wait. Good thing you excommunicated him. Right? Oh, good thing I disinherited him. Yeah, I disinherited him. 
Uh, I have an idea. Can you, can you throw him in prison? My son? Can you throw them both in prison? Only one of them. I could throw him in prison. I have a hook on him, too. However, that would be tyranny. It would make my vassals think I'm a jerk. Even though he's an adulterer. But you would get a holy cause for it. The problem is, in this game, with Catholicism, uh, male adulterers, they get they lose piety, but it's you can only imprison the women that do it. That's dumb. I know. I wish they would change that. It makes no sense historically. Because they would arrest men for adultery, too. Can you at least arrest the woman? Nope, she's not in my court. She ran the moment they figured it out. That's dumb. Too bad you can't just go find her. I know. Well, William, you're a good king, but you're gonna probably die soon. Yeah, look at that crown. I know, isn't it? Such man? prestige. Usually I get like a lot more accessories on them with my mods, but it slows my it slows the game down a little bit. Oh. Robert, why are you French? Stop that. Why is he changing all his opinions? Oh, we're in the high medieval era. Heck yeah. Ooh. We're going for Heraldry immediately. Because it makes my partition laws a lot better. Okay. It's any day now, William. Promote more culture. I'm gonna have to start promoting some like English culture in Normandy is what I need to start doing. Oh, we're trying to sway him. What happened? Wait, what happened? We're trying to sway him. We need to do a t subject he likes. Uh, feats of war, ruling the realm, or a good book. Well, he seems to be someone who's focused on martial combat, so yeah. I think he would like talking about war. He liked it. That's what I thought. So easy to tell. Because of his beard. <laughs> not only that, but you can just look at him, and you can just look at him, and you, you can see uh, what <laughs> what kind of lifestyle. Ooh, he's lustful. That's a sin, you know, sir. Yeah. It's given him multiple sons. Okay. Well, here's that mayor we threw out earlier. Oh, you see. We can treat him about, we can teach him how to be a good general, or we can chastise him for his failure. Or we can cheer him up after his failure. Well... Uh, but he is a spineless antagonist, so should we chastise him? Yeah! Alright. No lose prestige. Kind of a jerk thing to do after he, fail he failed, but... Yeah. It's funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this isn't real people. To be fair, William in real life was a jerk to I know, me. I know, but I'm just saying, like, this is a video game <laughs> yeah. based off of real people, but it's not the actual real people. No, it's not. So. I'm a little bit scared of Scotland, right? Oh, he's having a rebellion. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what we really want, I'm, I'm actually rooting for the Irish actually forming the Kingdom of Ireland, because they can do that. Yeah. I've, I've done it before, too. But... Oh my gosh. The HRE has been in this war for like years now. Well, that's why, because he, he got imprisoned. Oh, he got defeated by France, too. That's pathetic. Young Alexander? He is now considering himself English. And indeed he is. I need to, uh. Guard is this Alexander? No, it's not Alexander the Great. No. It's it's my son's it's my grandson's. There we go. Is this is this the the Alexander? The little one? Oh, how could I have known? You're a freaking fornicator. That's nice. Sorry, crazy mo. Why did you blink a lady when she was in jail? Blink a lady because yeah. he was the jailer. Oh, I just saw Scotland grow. Nope. Uh, hey buddy, you're I taking can't too much I, can't, I can't declare war on him, though. Hey buddy, let's be friends. Can you share some of that extra land? Let's hope he dies soon. His wife's already dead. Oof. No, she's a he's ghost fine. now? No, it just, they gray it out when they're dead. She's a ghosty now. No, she's not. 
There are events where ghosts happen, though. It's funny. Uh. Ooh, I can declare war in France. Do oh, it! No, I don't want to do that. Can your characters remarry if their spouses die? Yes, they can. Okay. Let's see. Uh, chaos of battle. My a sword strikes across my chest plate, an elbow slams into my helmet, a soldier easily avoids my clumsy counter. The mock battle rages around me but I struggle to find my focus. I am tempted to let my guard down as soon as fighting the fighting rolls, but I know the second assault is about to start. Should we meet the assaults? Or should we withdraw for a moment? Um, this is assault or is this that? It's a mock battle. For Wait, training. For training? Yeah. So it's not real? No. I could get wounded though. That's a real possibility. Uh, we want you to live a little longer, so we'll withdraw then. I mean, I could live until my sixties. Okay. Quickly, Miss Alexander. Uh, this so you can actually teach children traits. Uh, he was playing with a bow, and in surprise, he ran into, ran into a wounded doe. When he showed me the animal, the wounds were evidence of a slow and torturous death. Alexander just smiled. He's good. This could make him sadistic. Should we chastise him for becoming see. for being sadistic like that? We could make him ambitious, or we could make him paranoid. I don't want to do paranoid. <laughs> Ambitious is a very good trait to get, though. The only problem is it will make me extremely stressed. Yeah. But if he's going to be our grandson, like the first in line after Robert dies... Dude, it's just an animal. It's just an animal? Dude, it's just an animal. So you want him to become sadistic instead? I mean, wouldn't you just tell him it's an animal? I don't want him just to... I want him to show he's... I want him to, like, be better. You want to be that? Yes. I'm going to die anyways. I don't care about the stress. Ooh, should we get into dr drunkenness? If we do this, we'll get even more... We'll have an even worse mental break. Just want to drink, or... Just... Or we'll have to endure, but we'll get another critical... Uh, we'll get even more stressed out. What's the... I need a drink. What does that do? We could become a drunkard. No, that's not good either, so... We'll just endure. We're even more stressed. Alright, we could become someone who's profligate, so we just spend money all the time. We could go for a ride. You get even less stressed. Or we can just say, I don't need to love, I just need obedience. Go for a ride, why not? Yeah, it's probably better. The fact of the matter is, though, I need to make sure, I need to make sure my line remains good. Yeah, oh, you're a go. drunkard. Come on. Come on, this man. guy's been a jerk the whole time. Robert Kurgos. Yeah. Problem is, William. my other son. William's the only other good one here. Yeah. Just... I could disinherit him. Actually, let's see. No, we don't have enough. We don't have enough prestige. I have an idea, though. Should we disinherit him? Okay. What? Then what? Our only son would then become, uh, would become, uh, William the Red. Okay, cool. That'd be cool. Uh, I don't, I just want to skip through this event. Okay. Okay. Sure, do you want to disinherit, should we disinherit him? Yeah. Alright. I just... This guy's been kind of a tart the whole time. You're disinherited. At least he got a decent wife, but you know what I mean? Which means, historically, we just did the historical thing, William the Red is now our heir. Yay, it sounds cooler to me. He's not as good, but... Which also is a great thing, because you know what that means? He gets all the land to himself. Yay! So when I die, William the Red shall become King of England. So we need one person to govern the whole thing, right? Yes. 
Oh, there'll be too many stupid words. Hey, is that that one crud lady again? No, it's another one. She has a STD belt. <laughs> so Robert's been. not going to be very happy that I just did that. That I just disinherited him. Are you going to be... Well, what, how's the Archbishop doing? Fine. Going you, hard here? Yeah, is there anything he can do? Uh, I could use them to like... So one thing they can do is yeah. they can select a county and they can start fabricating a claim so I can go to war with someone. So basically they'll be like, oh well, uh, God says he should have this claim instead. Do so, it! Where should I do the claim? Oh, I should do it in Wales, actually. Yeah, get some more land, sir. Yeah, let's get some more land from Wales. Actually, no, let's do more on week. More on week. However you, however you pronounce Welsh words. So, yeah, we're going to probably die soon. Oh, the Tower of London got completed. Excellent. That's going to extremely be helpful. Upgrade our, we can upgrade our castle. Uh-oh, someone wants to kill my Cordier Drogo. I don't really care, though. Okay, I just upgraded a castle. So we're going to make our castles here in uh, London better. Uh, we're going to upgrade Birkenstead's castle as well. Oh wait, I can't do that. Because they're Anglo-Saxon, right? <sighs> Thank you for finally becoming uh, English after like years. There you go. We're just waiting for William to die now. I would rather play his son now. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, here we go. Just as I said it. You died. King William I of England has found peace in Christ's embrace at the year 61 years of age. He died of old age. A hollow child of his former self, he has long lost his wits by the time of his final passing. King William ascends to the throne. A generous man, many hope that his good heart will not lead him to an empty realm. Realm's coffers on futile causes. All right. And I just literally had a son. Excellent. We're going to name him Henry. I'm going to call him that because that was the next king of England after him, after William. It's technically his brother, but okay. We're a new king. We're a very young king too. Hey, I have an idea. Let's use the pope, or not the pope, the minister, uh, bishop guy. Get some more claims. Hold on. So, well, we're a new king, which means we're actually very weak right now. You should be careful about doing that. Okay. We want people. As you can see, some of these guys dislike us. He probably likes my brothers instead. So I need to be extremely careful. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is host a feast. Because I have negative prestige right now, which means I look like a really bad king. But you just got and already the crown. this Earl Thomas guy just did a liberty faction against me. I know. Well, that's how this game works. Uh, just because you become king doesn't mean you're going to get the support of all your vassals. It doesn't mean they can't give you a chance. Either. Okay, I want hey, isn't you, that I that want one you scummy on, guy? Yeah, how is he still alive? I'm going to give him on my, get him on my side now. Alright, we're a martial character. We're going to focus on uh, authority this time. I need the dread game. Ooh, I want to hook on this guy, that's for sure. Okay, that helped my prestige. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of these guys. They want to lower right. my crown authority. They want to knock. They want to knock my crown off my head a little bit. And now that we have him, can we like give him like longer hair? Because redheads with long hair are pretty cool. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see his hair. Yeah. Do that. There's other long hairs too. Medium uncount, we could do medium flowing. Does that look good? Sure. Do you want to give him facial hair? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of beard? Uh, a neck beard. A neck beard? They don't have. Well, actually, they do yeah, have a lot of redheads guys get like beard. All right. I don't like how it looks, but whatever. You know what, Colin? You know what? He got to show prestige with his beard. Oh, 
You murdered someone? You need to go to freaking jail, buddy. Why is that tyranny? You can't keep getting away with that, dude. <laughs> I know I don't want the tyranny. My vassals hate me right now. But it's not fair. I know. Tell me about it. It's that not guy's fair. just doing cred and he shouldn't be doing it. He's my brother, it. nonetheless. You should be able to just throw him in his button. I don't know why it is that way. Either. I don't even know why the your the bishop can't help you with that either. The bishop doesn't like it. Either. Oh, see. But if you were to do the holy cause stuff, then why does the bishop have issues with everyone? He'll probably die soon. You can see he's poor. His his health's not very good. Oh great! I gotta go get a doctor because I'm sick. Let's see. Purity, I would just play school. Yeah, we'll go with him. No, I can't do the stupid claim. Because I just spend money on a doctor. I, if I get into debt, that's going to be a very dangerous situation. <sighs> Doctors must be pretty expensive. But they are. It's stupid how expensive they get. Uh oh. I raised my hand to call for Matilda. Ooh, my mother's still alive. Interesting. From across the hall, yet my mother only returns an embarrassed glance before rushing off. My own family has been turned against me by that impotent knave, Archbishop Guntard. He has taken up a habit of whispering lies in my relatives' ears wherever they go for him with spiritual guidance, claiming that I'm a wicked king and that God cursed our house. I, too, have a few things to say about him. I could expose him. We could say that I could have a public show of contrition, or we could just gain dread. I don't want the scorn clergy, though. Let's, let's risk it. Oh, I exposed him. Yeah. That means... Yeah. It doesn't sound very crazy. I just gained me. prestige. Yeah, he has been a jerk, hasn't he? Yeah, he hasn't been a real archbishop. Alright, let's give you... Let's give you back Simon the Monster. Don't be... Don't be being an adulteress still then, okay? Most likely, uh, your brother's gonna do something like stupid again, and then... Yeah, tell me about it. Just keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> <laughs> he really shouldn't be able to get away with it. He really should get his head chopped off. Of I'm just mm -hmm. waiting for the first crusade to start. That's what I'm waiting for. You set him in the front of the line, so... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you're, you're precisely <laughs> right, that's what I exactly would do. Because that can kill people in this game. <laughs> I learned that the hard way one time when I was, uh... Never put your team in the yeah, I put my heir leading the armies. I was like, oh yeah, this will help him experience. And he gets killed. I'm like, and then all I have left is daughters. I'm like, crud. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Trust me. No, because I didn't know I could do that back then in this game. Because I was playing an Iron Man game. <laughs> and so it was like, crud. <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> That didn't turn out so hot. Oh my gosh, he became a leper. The archbishop became a leper. Wow. Yeah, I guess he did. The nice thing is when I pay people off, they're actually like... Oh, I'm going to name her after my mother. Sure. Why didn't my son get any of the good traits? That's stupid. Screw this game. <laughs> the never the, the daughters are becoming pretty, but the son is just like plain. <clears throat> Worst part is, look, look, look at these eyebrows I have. Look at them. Yeah. You know where he gets them from? His freaking mother. <laughs> the stupid, stupid eyebrows from him. Hey. No, the English are superior. Become English. <laughs> Please do. Come on. I hate the fact that, like, usually they start becoming, like, English in waves. That has not happened whatsoever in this game. My RNG's been that bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. What are you doing having kids? You don't deserve to have kids. Wait, wait, he's not doing anything stupid with this kid. No, no he's not. It is with his own wife. Ooh, you're having rebellion. 
someone or someone's having a rebellion. Either way, I want you knocked out a pig. All right, diplomacy. Should I let my Should I let my sister handle this? Yeah, if he's smart. Actually, no. I want him to have more. Yeah. She can have more. Oh gosh, we gotta stop Scotland. Hold on. They're like, whoa. Either that or. He's old. Yeah, let's do an he's alliance. Old? He is old. He will die soon. And which means his kingdom's gonna probably be split up, split between his sons. But we'll do an alliance for now. He's getting kind of strong though. I've been a little bit lazy here. I should have been keeping track of that more. Oh my gosh, this guy's living for it. And you're having another child? You're 60, man. <laughs> He's a Chad. This <laughs> is living up with it. Like, look at me. Look at you. Gave you made me have like a neck beard and everything. This guy's a freaking Chad. <laughs> hey. Neckbeards, though. They live a little modern day. Oh, I could help one of his, uh, I could help his son get the kingdom of Warway. <laughs> Why would I do that, though? There's one thing I need to do. I think I need to actually start increasing my levy power. Which means we need to construct more walls and towers. I wish I didn't have to spend so much time converting everyone to the English culture, though. I just got really bad RNG in that. Let's see. Okay, more people are actually becoming English. We just need to get rid of all the Anglo-Saxon in here. If I do that, we should be good. Okay. Now we'll have our daughter, uh... Ooh, she looks on my right hand. Or my sister will become my right hand. That's nice. That's good to have, actually. It's gonna help my control grow. Why are you doing an another Liberty faction? Stop it. Stop it. Why are there two Duke Thomases? That's not confusing at all. <laughs> Scotland, can you please stop growing? Sheesh. Being pretty healthy this time, Colin. What? Scotland? No, no, no. Or the, no, oh, the mother? No. Yeah. Well, yeah I'm, her husband was eating all the food, so she didn't have <laughs> Yeah, he, he was, like, gorging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a new archbishop, finally. Hi, brother. Maybe, hopefully this arch... Oh, he's even worse. Look at that learning score. Usually learning implies, like, they know how to read and everything. He doesn't know how to read? Oh, he knows how to read. He's just an idiot, apparently. <laughs> That's terrible. No, you can't. Anyways, I'm gonna make myself more powerful again. Bye! <laughs> I now have high crown authority. Yay! My vassal is gonna hate me for that. Wife's pregnant again. Very good. What? Oh, she's pregnant again. Okay. You need to be more Chad like like your neighbor Scotland. You know what you're right. What's going on now? What's going on, hunt? Also grow your beard out more if you want. Oh, interesting. So we found some poachers in the woods. What do we do? We make them hang? Uh do we hire them as bowmen or do we just take their animal? You see poachers? Yeah, poachers in your in the royal woods. Eh, well let's see. Let's hang them up. Oh boy. <laughs> You know what that does? It makes it so the people they don't like don't like you. No, you know what? They weren't doing the right thing. You're a hundred percent correct. They weren't doing the right thing. They were killing, so that's the death penalty, right? They were hunting. That's still killing. I just hosted a feast, buddy. I promise the feast will be hosted. To okay, just do another feast, okay? I mean, it's like, that... like father, like son. He's not, he, that's not even my he's not even that's a that's like my uncle it's your uncle yeah yeah so I gotta, you know, oh 
Duke Thomas took Duke Thomas prisoner. Isn't that funny? They were fighting each other. Oh, here because we go. Because they were fighting yeah. over who has the actual name or not. <laughs> <laughs> he wants lower ground authority. No, screw you. Oh, great. There's more people. Let's see how big this girl is. Oh, no, there's some. Finally got a good trait, but he bleeds. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What does that mean? mean he has health issues. It means he uh, bleeds very easily. Ooh. Yeah, he's frail. He has uh, hemophilia. Ooh, that sorry little kid. Yeah, I know. He probably won't become a king, but I'll still educate him. He you know, you never know. Sometimes, never. sometimes in this game, like people, when they end up like that, they end up becoming really good rulers. Still, so yeah. he probably won't become king, but you know what? He's still a cute little kid. Yeah. So let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. They're a lot more uh, nicer oh. in this game. <laughs> You're a lot nicer in this game. I am. But usually, I just disinherit that immediately. That's not nice. Oh my gosh! Stop it, Scotland! They're like, whoa, look at that sweet out of the He's room. going to literally look that, die. Look at that he, Chad grin, dude. <laughs> I know, he's going to literally die? He's like, <laughs> I have more kids now. <laughs> the reason why I'm Malcolm. having... He's like, I'm having more kids because I want to have more land, so... Malcolm. We'll save this for later. That was fun playing with you, though. Let's see, let's do another... Let's do... Pretty much you playing and I'm watching. Yeah, but you, you've been making decisions. True. Oh, you know what? Before we go, you say I can change his beard? Yeah. Well, I don't like this neck beard. Let's make him bigger. Bigger beard? Yeah. I... We, we can get some big beards, like this. Oh. You could also do this. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, now we have authority. We're going to have so much prestige with that beard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough for today. Uh, thanks for watching, dudes. Yep.